Hello, today we are going to go through some of my empties. Um, my name is Natasha and I will give you a review of some of the, all of the items that I've used up and what I think. I've already filmed just now the um, all of my hair care type empties and that was enough for a video of its own. I've been collecting these things for quite a while because I haven't been doing videos for a while. Uh, we finished a Soap and Glory Clean On Me shower gel and... Um, it's so big and lasts so long, which is a credit to it, it's a good product, but I was bored and I just couldn't wait for it to end. Uh, tonight there's a tiny, tiny little smidge left in the bottom, but I, I just, I'd had enough of it. So I don't know, it is moisturising. I don't rave, like people love this scent and they think Soap and Glory is the best thing in the world, but I don't know, the scent just doesn't do for me what they say. Um, I haven't tried the citrus one, so I'd really like to try the more citrus Soap and Glory scents. While we're talking about Soap and Glory, how about a Soap and Glory No Clogs Allowed? Um, this is a um, self-heating, what's it called? Deep Pore Detox Mask. Now, unfortunately, I have barely used this. I opened it, I used it a couple of times, I left it in a cupboard and then I never saw it again until I got it back out to try and um, I don't know, it says that it should only be open for two years and I don't remember when I bought it and I don't really want to be shoving stuff all over my face if I've had it for a long time. So unfortunately, I just, I think the packaging's even changed since I bought this. So just to be on the safe side, I'm getting rid of it. I, I can't find it, but I also use, used up the um, sort of hot cloth cleanser from Soap and Glory as well. Um, I can't find the packaging right now, but I really enjoyed that. And I would probably give this another go because I really do like detox masks that like bring everything out of me. I've got combination oily skin, so I really like detox masks. Um, Oh, and as, as I said, I really like the Lizzle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. It's classic. I will buy this again and again. I really like it. So there's another one of those. Something I would not buy again is the Yves Lom Rescue Mask. Um, I tried this a few times. It's now turned a little bit, so I, um, I've thrown it. But I didn't find that it really did anything, and it didn't really smell that great. So I just, I would pass on that. I didn't really didn't smell great and I didn't really notice a difference in my skin so I think I would probably give that a pass in future. And then I found this um, Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. This is probably donkey's old, I don't know how long I've had it for. But I uh, decided that it's best to not be putting that on my face because it says two years. I haven't bought it since I've been in this house which is two and a half years so um, I'm getting rid of that. But I remember at the time when I used it, um, it was quite nourishing and moisturising and it wasn't really a really strong scrub, in fact it barely had any beads in it so I wouldn't really have called it a scrub cream but I think because they call it seven day scrub cream it's gentle enough to be used every day. I quite enjoyed using this, it was okay, I enjoy scrubs, it wasn't like the super strongest scrub in the world, they claim that it's like... Um, it's the one because bumps will be gone from the back of your arms and dry shins are suspiciously shimmery and um rough elbows go suddenly silky and you'll start to believe that the scrub can conquer all it was a scrub it wasn't the strongest scrub in the world but it was a scrub and i kind of liked it and i enjoyed it i wouldn't rush to buy it again um i would think when i'm thinking of a scrub i want something that's a real scrub and that basically takes up a layer of my skin but this was kind of a gentle nice moisturizing scrub um a redox pomegranate and red apple scent for um shower gel we really liked the smell of it for us shower gel shower gel as long as you smell nice and it makes you clean we don't really care we don't spend a grand fortune on shower gels um we just pick up whatever's on offer this smelled nice we liked it we used it we would buy it again if it was on offer um and that is the way that we feel about shower gels to be honest um what else have we got here Oh, this is, ah, oh, pants. So this is an Aromatherapy Associates Refresh Conditioner. Don't really rate it. Didn't think it was that great. And Aromatherapy Associates is a bit expensive. So, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't really rush to buy that again. But it, it, was, it was all right. It was a nice little travel size. This is something that I do love. I feel like I'm not really loving anything that I'm talking about. But this is a Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser. This is the indulgent... Um, Cocoa butter scent, which is for normal to dry skin. I've had a couple of these. My mum sometimes steals them when she comes to stay with me because she really likes them. You wash yourself in the shower. Um, then afterwards, you put this on your body, you in the shower, rinse it off, 
you're done. You, no stickiness, no weirdness. You really are moisturised. It's a little bit treacherous because <laughs> when you rinse it off, it's a bit slippery underfoot. But other than that, I bloody love this stuff. We've got some more in the shower right now. I bought my mum a different scent, but I think the cocoa one smells better. Um, and I think I've been using this for about a year and I love it because I'm a lazy body moisturiser person. I don't really do it that often. I'm a bit, I can't be bothered. I moisturise my face and all of that a couple of times a day, but my body just sort of gets left. So this is something that moisturises my body without too much extra effort. I don't really, I can't be bothered with all the stickiness and then having to wait to get dressed and all of that. Not, not asked about that. So I really, really love that um, in shower body moisturiser and I would rave about it and I, I recommend it to everybody all the time. Um, Here's the Aromatherapy Associates Refresh Shampoo that matches the conditioner. Um, and as I said, I was just okay. Um, this smells blooming lovely. This is a Mandara Spa Tropical Blooms Softening Bath Milk. And the reason it smells lovely is because it's got two of my favorite scents in it, which is Yasmin and Ylang Ylang. And um, it smelled lovely and it was sort of moisturizing and really calming and really nice. And it was just a beautiful bath. Um, I ended up putting about half of it in a bath, which is a bit too much, but um, I don't know, it smelled so good that I was like, more, more, and um, I'm getting a bit hyper there about this, but I forgot how much I really liked it. I'm not sure where I can get it from, so I'm going to have a bit of a search, I'm going to put this bottle separately to the others to remind me to buy that again, because I would definitely buy that again, although I am on a no-buy, but it's fine. Um, and we've got the tea tree, mint and tea tree um, original source shower gel. There's usually one of these in here because we buy it when it's on offer. We both like it, it's refreshing and it does the job. I'm gonna keep going, I've got a lot more skincare stuff to keep going with. I shouldn't have really done shower gel and stuff in this, but anyway. Um, I used up the Be Good Honey and Propolis 2 in 1 Cream Cleanser and um, I really quite liked it. I got this in a beauty box. As like I said, I like hot cloth cream cleansers. Um, and it was it was nice and I think it's good to do a little bit of something towards good for the bees. Um, and it worked quite well. I think I prefer the scent of the Lizzo. I'm used to that sort of natural scent and it just sort of calms me when I smell it now. But um, this did the job and I took it away with me and I really liked it and I would consider it if I was looking to repurchase a cleanser. Okay, so now I've got quite a few Michael Todd products that I bought quite a long time ago um, and I've been trying to use them up, but I just, I failed. But I did use up all of this charcoal decal, <laughs> but I did use up all of this Michael Todd charcoal detox deep pore gel cleanser. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. It isn't a difficult thing to say. Um, I liked that it came with a little pump and everything. It lasted a long time. Um, and this is, says it gently removes dirt, oil, makeup and impurities without residue or irritation for acne prone and oily skin. And I found that it worked quite well. It was a nice cleanser. I'd never really used it to remove my makeup though. I just used it as a cleanser. Um, I didn't notice that it helped clear my skin any more, you know, any more than any other cleanser. And it was okay. I, I quite enjoyed using it. it. For a morning I use, I prefer more of a citrus uplifting fresh sort of cleanser and then of an evening I prefer more balmy or creamy and stuff that'll take off all my makeup so that sort of doesn't really fall into either of those categories to be honest um I also picked up a jojoba charcoal facial scrub ages ago so I'm getting rid of this because it's over 18 months old there's about this much left in it so I used quite a lot of it um I'm not really a face scrub person I feel that um, I should use them more frequently, but I feel like I use um, chemical toners that exfoliate, like exfoliating toners and acids and various things. So I don't use scrubs that often. Sorry, stuff just fell off the table on me. Um, I wish I had used this up. I found it hidden away. I had so much stuff that I had to be clear out and sent some things to the, um, what's it called? A women's refuge near me. So anything that was new, um, that I wasn't gonna use, I sent to them. And in doing that sort out, I found a lot of things that I'd had for a while and I hadn't used and they were past their date, so I'm gonna get rid of them. But I wish I had seen this 
oh remembered about this this is the organic lemon aha plus dmae toner and i'm now when i bought this i wasn't such a fan of acid toners but now i really like acids and um and exfoliating toners and things so i wish that i had used this a bit more it says exfoliates and firms improves skin tone and texture for normal to oily and problem skin um i did find that when i did use this i probably used about this much um it was a bit stripping and it felt you could tell the acids in it it wasn't that soft and gentle on my skin um and then this was a bit of a cow this is the kaolin clay detoxifying facial facial mask this burnt like a mofo um extra absorbent oily combination and acne prone skin it says on it not for sensitive skin i didn't think my skin was that sensitive but it is um and it says after cleansing apply an even layer over your face leave for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse follow with a tone you can use it two or three times a week but it says mild to moderate tingling or burning sensation can be common when i first apply this um i've probably used about that much at the minute the pumps to about here um and i'm going to get rid of it because i've again i've had it for over 18 months but when i used it i had to put it on and then i had to be like <sighs> because it's stung and really burnt and stung and it was really uncomfortable for about 60 seconds or so and then it'd be totally fine for the rest of the time but you just had to really get past that my eyes would be streaming and it was just quite intense and for me that was more than a mild to moderate tingling or burning sensation it was it, it was a bit more than that um but in a way i kind of liked it because i was like this means it's doing something but um i don't know if it was to be honest okay so i've got a couple of eye creams here i've got the balance me wonder eye cream i've used two of these and um i don't know they say that it helps reduce like it helps smooth away dark shadows and reduce visible appearance of fine lines i didn't do that it was just an average eye moisturizer and then i finished this which is the um where's this from super drug naturally radiant brightening eye cream and um unfortunately i've had it open for longer than six months so that's why i'm getting rid of it now i haven't used it all up um, I didn't really notice any brightening effects or anything. I haven't fell in love with an eye cream. Um, I just never really notice a difference with any eye creams that I use, and that's a real shame. So if you recommend any eye creams, if you've got any recommendations, I'd love to hear. I've got a Jalique, um, I used a couple of these, uh, Calendula Redness Rescue Smoothing Moisturising Cream. I used up a few of these. This one is still... Um, still sealed and I just threw the other ones away I didn't like this because it really smelled of wheat it's a strange thing to say I suppose but I didn't like the smell it smelled really wheaty um I don't, I don't know but yeah I wasn't really a fan of that at all and I also tried the Tatcha Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream and I really liked this because it just disappeared into my skin and um was really nice and didn't feel greasy in any way and I so I thought it was going to be brilliant but I've got oily skin and so I need quite a light moisturizer for the day and I felt like I got a little bit oily with this but I really liked I would really consider how many really is Natasha I would consider buying this again or oh, trying this again um because of how it just disappeared and I don't know I think that's worth me trying more frequently than just a couple of days from a little sachet so I'd definitely give that a go um I also used up those these are Sephora foot masks and I got this in the sock masks aren't they in the almond and the lavender uh Mark tried the lavender I tried the almond they were fun I don't think they did anything I think a bit of a foot scrub and a decent foot moisturizer does just as good a job in fact would do a better job than these so i would not buy these again they were fun and nice to have as part of a pamper routine and things but i just i wouldn't really buy them because i don't think they really did that much they weren't that moisturizing in all honesty unless maybe you put them on and you sleep in them all night rather than the 20 minutes that they recommend then no i don't think i would recommend them um on the same vein have you had two of these oh, i have on the same vein we both had an avocado hand mask which you like put them on like gloves and um we thought there was maybe something going on with these we thought that maybe there was something noticeable um but i don't know i would i, I think i would give these another try because there was maybe something going on but i'm not sure um but it was nice it was it was nice to have them as part of a 
um, a treat and a pamper thing. We actually had them both on at the same time with a face mask. So yeah, we went we went all out. And the face masks that we used were the um, pearl face mask, which is perfecting and brightening. And then this one was anti-aging and smoothing, which is the orchid. And I can't remember which way we used them. I had used the pearl before, so I'm pretty sure maybe Mark used the pearl and I used the orchid one. Um, I really like these sorts of face masks. I find them quite moisturizing, easy to just shove on and I, I enjoy using them, but I'm not sure how effective they really are, but I enjoy using them as part of my routine and I felt that this one, even though it says anti-aging and smoothing, I felt that it was just more sort of hydrating and moisturizing than hydrate, than um, anti-aging and smoothing. So I got something out of it, but not what they thought that I would. Okay, there'll have to be some skincare in my next video, but what I will finish on is just some hand soaps so that I can get rid of these. <laughs> um, so there was a original source coconut and shea butter. It was on offer. It smelled nice. It was moisturizing. It did the job of washing our hands and it was fine and it didn't dry our hands out too much, but we do both get quite dry hands. We do particularly love the Bath & Body Works hand soaps. We find that they don't dry our hands out in any way. We use the foaming ones, so they last quite a long time. These are Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Oops, they're alive. <laughs> and um, we really enjoyed using these. We used them up quite quickly. The Boardwalk Vanilla Cone was just sort of vanilla-y. Marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean and creamy caramel. And it was, you know, just, just okay in terms of a scent. And then this one was Pumpkin, Cinnamon and Sugared Spice. And we both liked this one. So we would buy this scent over the more sweet vanilla -y scent in future but we like them they last a long time we've got one in two or three bathrooms right now our favorite hand washers and i think we're going to stop there for this video <laughs> so thank you for watching there will be another one if you haven't seen my first video which was focused around sort of hair care and everything then please do check it out and keep a look out for the upcoming video which will be more skincare and makeup so thank you for watching take care and i hope to see you next time Bye bye